This July, it'll be take two in the sentencing phase of the Jody Arias trial. After almost five months of trial testimony, jurors convicted Jody Arias of first-degree murder, but couldn't decide whether she should get life or death this week. The jury vote was eight to four in favor of the death penalty, but a unanimous decision is needed. In the penalty phase, Arias delivered a statement to the courtroom. So how did that impact the deadlocked jurors? Uh, take a listen to what the jury foreman said on ABC's Good Morning America. I'm very sure in my own mind that she was uh, mentally and verbally abused. Now, is that an excuse? Of course not. Does it factor into decisions that we make? It, it has to. We're charged with going into presuming innocence, right? Um, but she was on the stand for so long, there were so many contradicting stories. But I don't think it did her any good, no, that, that length of time, no. Let's bring in our legal guys, Avery Friedman, a civil rights attorney and law professor in Cleveland. Good to see you. Hi, Frederica. <laughs> and Richard Herman, a New York criminal <laughs> defense attorney and law professor, joining us from Las Vegas. Good to see you as well. Hi, Fred. Okay, so here we thought we were at the end of this, but now we've got to start all over again. Arias' murder conviction stands, of course, but, but now a whole new jury will have to decide on her punishment. So, Richard, will a new jury be seated in the same county, Maricopa, or does there have to be a change of venue within the state of Arizona still? <laughs> it's a small state, Arizona, but I think that what we're going to see here is this. I think we're going to see two new maybe two or three new defense attorneys representing her, yeah. and I think we're going to instantly see a motion to change venue, get it out of Maricopa County. How can she get a fair trial there? Everyone will say, yes, we've seen, we've heard about the case, but you know, we can be fair. We can come in with an even mind and be fair. Do you really believe that, Fred? Come on. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a railroad job here. I think what has to happen is that the Alexander family has to gather their wits, go to the prosecutor, make a deal, no death, prison for life, no appeals, Wait a minute. and end it. The, the I don't know family that they can go of Alexander this again. Would, would be able to make that kind of deal to say this is what would appease make, us? Yeah, they can make that suggestion, and the huh. district attorney will most likely suggestion. follow it. But the point is, Fred, they, the United States does not kill women. So that's a fact. Less than 2% of the population well, they do. of death row are not women. Right. They're they not going to kill them. They won't do it to Jody Arias. There were four jurors. Aren't there who at least three the on, on death row right now in that state, though? That's right. Yeah, and but they have. They've been uh, on forever. Been Appeals are being t overturned. Mm -hmm. It's not going to. There were four jurors here who said no death. Everyone's criticizing this yeah. jury. Hey, this jury got it right. They didn't want to go for death. So accept it. I, Why can't people I, I, I don't accept know that? that they got it right. I, I don't know that that's right. But either well, way, it'd have to be a unanimous decision. Right. It has to be a unanimous decision. Whether you, want want you believe, you know, either one is right or wrong doesn't really matter. Right. Well, exactly. but they held to their convictions and they voted with their hearts. They did not mm -hmm. think she deserved death. So they held strong to their position. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what they're supposed to do.